<laughs> hello chat welcome in hello hello i hope y'all have been good stand up no i'm oh. scared oh, no 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 we'll put that on my other monitor on how do i restart this i have something i gotta show you it is so funny chat chat you gotta see this you have to see it. This shit is so funny. Ready? I'm scared. Oh, <laughs> what the hell? Is this... What? What? Shut the fuck down. I don't... <laughs> Nikki doesn't need... <laughs> you need a bigger room. <laughs> Nikki doesn't even have her... <laughs> Jesus. Oh, there's more than one. How many he bottles? doesn't move! <laughs> oh. I'm on fire! Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> he, he doesn't move! He just keeps he eating them! <laughs> What's happening? I just saw a great TikTok that I wanted you guys to see. There is one other one I wanted you guys to see too. This, dude, is the most addicting piece of content I've ever seen. One. This chat is the most addicting piece of content I have ever seen. Are you ready? TikTok and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. First up, roll for bread. One, sub bun. These buns already have a slit in them, but they don't go very deep, dude. so I just... Tried to open this them up dude a just rolls every day for his sandwich, and he gets the cr go. sometimes like That's good, but like for. sometimes like the most Next up, let's crazy roll for our shit course. you've ever seen. Three salami. We've got a good start to a so classic it looks fine Italian right now, supper, right? But what are the odds my luck will hold? Let's roll for cheese. One Asiago cheddar. Well, we're no longer in classic Italian sub territory, but I see no problem here. This should go great. Roll for roughage. Pineapple. What I have on hand is canned pineapple, so that's what we're going with. In 100% juice, so this sandwich should be anything but dry. I wouldn't have thought to do this, but salami and ham have similar flavor, so I could see this working out pretty well. But just when you think everything is safe, then there is the D20 sauce roll. It did me real dirty yesterday. I may need one of these when it's all over. Potion set up. Well, here goes nothing. Nine peanut butter has entered the chat. This is honestly like not even one of the bad ones. Perfect to bridge the gap between the sweet fruit and the salty meat. It's a strange on, I'll show you one of the bad ones after. But I don't think it's going to taste that bad. And here's that cross section. All right. I have pretty high hopes. You mean it's not a bad one? You'll see. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, th this is not bad at all. Not bad at all. Uh, let me. Sh okay, so you say like that one's not bad, right? I mean, that one looked bad, right? Um. So this is the day before. I actually haven't seen this one. Let's go. Let's roll bread. Hawaiian, frozen solid. Let's fix that. There we go. This bread is slightly sweet, so that could be good or bad. We'll see. Let's roll for our main ingredient. Tuna. Well, at least I got a break from the tuna there for a couple weeks. Don't want mercury poisoning now, do we? Yes, it's going straight on the bread with nothing mixed in. I don't get to choose my sauce yet, not till the end. And roll for cheese. Swiss. I'm fine with Swiss, it's not my favorite. Not sure how it'll go with the tuna though. All right, let's roll up the roughage. Banana. I just went shopping, so all I have are green bananas and one brown banana. I thought cutting it in strips might work better for a sandwich here, but really, I'm trying too hard. It's banana and cheese and tuna. The sandwich has officially gone off the rails, and we haven't even gotten to the sauce yet. It's time to roll on the other table, but I've decided I don't want to call it other anymore. There. That's better. Let's roll on the wild magic table. Twelve. No additional chaos today. Although, now it's time for the sauce, which... I don't even know what sauce would go with this. Here's hoping the dice go easy on me. Here we go! Eighteen. Marshmallow fluff. <laughs> Well, considering today is the first day I could have gotten Marmite, I guess this isn't that bad. I mean, we've already got sweetness from both the bread and the bananas, so 
<laughs> Marshmallow Fluff isn't going to add anything different. Let's get this abomination closed up. And here's the cross section. He sounds thrilled. Oh, that's terrifying. Okay, time to taste it. No, 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 no. This is the episode after the one we watched before this. So we just watched 16, then we watched 15, this is 17. Hey, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go! First up, let's roll for bread. Two, potato. This is definitely the softest bread we've had on the show so far, even softer than the Hawaiian. And roll for our main course. Seven, pastrami. So far, our pastrami sandwiches well, haven't been that one. bad. Sure They've at least all been above a five. Okay. Let's hope that Strami, trend continues. Time for the cheese. One, Asiago cheddar. A lot of people asked if this was just Colby Jack, but as you can see, it is a blend of cheddar and Asiago cheese marbled together. Pastrami and cheese, I've got no complaints so far. Let's roll roughage. Okay. Four, banana. This oh, is my no. third time in the last four sandwiches that I have rolled banana, if you count my live from the other night. Not Why are banana. my dice so obsessed with banana? I don't know, but they have spoken. As I am now officially the CEO of Fruit on Sandwiches, I can tell you this might be okay. Let's roll the wild magic table. Three, dill. This is fine. Oh no! This is fine, everything's fine. I probably won't even taste it. Right? All right, here goes nothing. D20 sauce roll. Barbecue. 10, red wine vinegar. This is actually one of my favorites on the list, especially with olive oil. The problem is the potato bread is way too soft and this is just gonna turn into mush. But we'll see, maybe it'll be okay. All right, <laughs> hold on a sec here. <laughs> and let's check out that cross section. You know, I've seen worse. All right, well, here we go. Another completed sandwich. Let's see how it tastes. Okay. Hmm. You know, it could be a lot worse. The vinegar and the dill go together. And I think they're both doing their part to help the banana not be so sweet. More like a tomato. So really, this ends up kind of like a Italian sandwich. Though we lost a few points because the bread got pretty soggy. I say we're safely at a six and a half. May the force be with you. I think that's a little Happy high Star for that, honestly. I think that was, uh... All right, if you want... All right, chat. If you want to do one, one more, we can. We can do one more. Only if you really want it, though. Only. Otherwise, we'll start. Yeah, you have to really want it, though. Okay, we can do one more. First up, roll for bread. Slide it up here. Five, pumpernickel. Here in the U.S., this dark rye is what we call pumpernickel. I didn't name it. I just eat it. Roll for main course. Two, olive loaf. If you're not familiar with olive loaf, it's essentially bologna with uh -oh. pimento stuffed olives cooked inside of it. I haven't uh -oh. had it since I was a kid, but I remember it being okay. Next up, roll for cheese. One, Asiago cheddar. That's the third day in a row. Uh -oh. So far, so good. The sharpness of the cheddar and the olives should pair nicely. Let's roll for some botanical goodness. Three, onion. Well, that's great. Get to use up some more of this red onion that I got left over. So far, no conflicting flavors, but a lot of strong ones together. Next up, wild magic. 11, potato chips. What I got right now is some Lay's Classic. This is great. I love a good crunch, and this is just gonna okay, add some that's saltiness actually a decent without addition. trying to fight with any of these flavors. Anxiety ahoy, it's that time we've all been waiting for. Grab an acid and tighten your belt. It's time for the Here D20 comes the sauce ranch. roll. 15 wasabi sauce. Oh god, this is arguably not straight worse. Wasabi. It's a wasabi mayo, but it still packs <laughs> quite a punch. All the loud flavors came out to play today, huh? <laughs> that sandwich is a weapon. Oh yeah. Let's check out that cross section. That's nice. That's something. And let's give it a taste. Mm hmm. All of these flavors announce themselves right away onion, olive, Sharp cheddar, bitter molassesy bread, and then the wasabi kicks them all out of the way and completely clears out your sinuses. This is the mosh pit of sandwiches, but it doesn't taste bad at all. Whew! He says it's not yeah, taste bad. It looks like he's here. dying. Well, there it is, the last bite, and with tears in my eyes, I'm prepared to confidently give it an 8.5. It's a good sandwich. It's just a lot. 
Ah, uh, no, nah, that's a that's a fucking bio weapon. Uh, and, uh, chat, chat, we already made a deal. You can't. No, we already made a deal for one more. It already we made two deals for one more. You can't you can't get another one more. It doesn't work like that. I said one more. Yeah, and then I gave you two. What, what, what do you mean no one will know? Everyone is here. Everyone will know. Put it to a vote. No, this this is not a, a, a democracy. This is a dictatorship. This is this is not this is not a, 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 a you guys get to decide. Hello, D and D TikTok and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. First up, roll for bread. Four multi seed. Ah yes, so we have returned to our roots. All right, next up, rolling for our main course. Eight hummus. Man, I was raised on hummus, uh. tabbouleh, baba ganoush, kibinai. So I'm definitely a fan of Middle Eastern and Mediterranean flavors. So no problems here. Uh, Plus, sandwich, so though? far it's vegan. Next up, roll for cheese. One, Asiago cheddar. How did I know we were going to get this again? That's our fourth sandwich in a row. It's tasty, and it's almost gone now, so I can't be mad. So much for being vegan. Let us roll for roughage. Seven, sauerkraut. I don't mind sauerkraut. It's great in Rubens and pairs well with meat. But we don't have any meat this time. Now, I'm not a sauerkraut expert, but this jar says Bavarian kraut. It looks like it has some caraway seeds in it. Either way, it's still fermented cabbage. Let's roll on the wild magic table. 12, nothing. All right, that means straight to the D20 sauce roll. 18, marshmallow fluff. Because of this series, I've eaten more no! marshmallow fluff in the last month than I've probably eaten in the rest of my life before this. No! It has its place. It's nice with peanut butter or Nutella. But it's not an everyday food. And it's not for every sandwich. And it's definitely not for this sandwich. You poor bastard. But that's my lot in life. Oh, no. Let's get this soggy thing cut. Oof. Oh, it's, it's ripping apart. Man, oh, my God. That is so oh. <laughs> All right. Well, here's the cross section. <laughs> oh. I cannot imagine that this is going to be enjoyable. Uh. And it's very, very soggy. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, yeah, nope. I can't really find a single redeeming quality about this sandwich. All the elements oh. separately are fine. Together, no. Well, that's it. One for the books, folks. Yeah, he eats the whole thing, that's, though. You got to give him that. That's the worst one yet. 0.5 out of 10. I only say that because, knowing my luck, it will get worse. I gotta go take a nap or something. Oof, let's hope for Okay, poor bastard. Actually, poor bastard. All right, chat. You win. Hey, what's up? Good afternoon, D&D &D Tic Tac. You win. You can have one in queue. Let's go. First up, rolling for bread. Three, everything bagel. Who doesn't love a good bagel? Let's roll for our main course. Four, turkey. This turkey is a black pepper crusted turkey, That's actually which is smoked, turkey. giving like the meat turkey. a little bit of a reddish hue. It's on the leaner side, which can make it a little bit drier. So we'll see if we can get anything that'll help with that. Gonna get some Let's mayo roll on for it. cheese. It's a four, cheese curds. What I have are these garlic oh, dill cheese curds, oh, which will go great I with the seasonings that. on the everything that bagel and the pepper weird. on the turkey. So far, everything's coming up Millhouse. I don't know about that roll one. Roll for roughage. Five, apple. My uh, wife recently picked up these local apples. They're red and uh, sweet, but I'm not exactly sure what type they are. Uh, Either way, they should go well with the turkey. Not what I would have picked were uh, I not I rolling that's for copium. it, it'll be good. Next up, roll on the wild magic table. Two, salt and pepper. Some of my footage was corrupted today, so please enjoy this very realistic reenactment. There's already salt on the bagel, and there's already pepper on the turkey, but that's what we rolled, so here's a little extra of both. And now it's time to make or break this sandwich with the D20 sauce roll. Let's see if I can get a reading on how this is going to go. Hmm. Ah, uh, yes, the vulture. Hmm. Well. Does that mean? Oh, and the fox. Of course. Of course. That it would be the fox. Sloth. Okay. Well, I would say the outlook is uncertain. Here we go. I have no idea what that is. Five. Meant. Mayo. There were oh, so many worse Oh, that's actually the W. That's the best thing you could have gotten. gotten. So I'm happy about this. And it'll help the bagel not be so bad. That's literally Let's the best thing you could have gotten. around here so that it's nice and even. Okay. Well, and so let's disgusting. get it cut. The apple's kind of weird, but everything else is good. 
and let's take a look at that cross-section. I have 100% confidence that this sandwich will be palatable. Oh yeah. Yep, nothing wrong here. The bake is a little dry, would have benefited from some toasting or maybe some cream cheese. Here's the last bite. Safely settled in at about an eight here. But you guys can't see That's this it for comment. Today. Have a good one. This comment says the card spelled out fifth and you actually rolled a five. Is that true? I mean, kind of. Kinda? Hey, the outlook is uncertain. Here we go. And then it did roll a five. That's... V is the Roman numeral for five? That's actually a good point. Interesting. Interesting. Good afternoon, Dean. Okay, listen. I don't think we have time for another one. I'm going to run to the bathroom, okay? I'm going to run to the bathroom. I'll be right back. If I get back and we're still in queue, which we won't. Traveling to Nepal. We can watch one more. But after that, we're going to start saving some, okay? We can't burn through all of them in a single day. Eventually, we'll catch up to modern day, and then we can watch the new one each day. But until then, we got to be careful. So this is going to be the last one, and then we'll do other stuff in queue, okay? Do we have a deal? Good afternoon, D&D, &D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. I got another new beautiful set of dice sent to me by Outer Realms Dice. So we're going to give these puppies a whirl today. So let's roll for bread. One sub bun. These little mini sub buns are frozen, so I'm going to have to thaw this guy out. There we go. It's a little floppy. Next, let's roll for our main ingredient. Seven, roast beef. Here's a close-up of the seven versus the one on this set of dice. I had to double check. Well, I am excited about roast beef. Finally, something different. And it'll be really good on this sub bun. Next up, roll for cheese. One, vegan cheddar. I have not had much experience with vegan cheese at all. I've had a cashew cheese no, thanks. before. I'm good. But this will be my first time trying Violife cheddar. I can tell just from handling it that the texture is a little bit different. Next up, let's roll for roughage. One, lettuce. With just how much of a sandwich staple kind lettuce is, I'm so surprised. Kind of a good sandwich so, so far, other than the cheese. This is the second time we've gotten it so far. The first time was very early on on a tuna sandwich, and that was iceberg lettuce. This time we have romaine. So far, the weirdest thing about this sandwich is the fact that we have vegan cheese with the actual meat meat. But other than that, True. I think it's going to taste pretty normal. Let's roll wild magic. Nine, everything bagel seasoning. This is funny. After two days of everything bagels, okay. now we have I, the I seasoning guess it's not terrible. and no bagel. And now it's time for the most stress-inducing part of the show, the D20 sauce roll. Three, ranch. Yes, I lost some footage again. No, I don't want to talk about it. Let's take a look at that cross section. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Pretty confident this sandwich will be just fine. Let's take a taste. Okay, yeah, not bad at all. The cheese doesn't come across as being anything out of the ordinary. I couldn't even tell the difference without eating a piece by itself. The ranch is probably the low point of this sandwich. It's not bad, it's just maybe a more juvenile choice. Like, I feel like I would have made this sandwich as a kid. All in all, not bad. These new dice are doing well for me. We're going to give this sandwich an 8.8. .8. It's a pretty normal sandwich that could have used just a little something to take it up a notch. And I have to say, this makes me want to try some more vegan products. Until next time. Yeah, but... Dude, ranch... Okay, listen. I don't know if ranch on that sandwich tastes very good. I'm, I'm questioning his, uh, his ideology a little bit there. I'm not going to lie to you.